Hello, Jeff. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? Great. Hey, would you would you a, a photo to start? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Um, how are you today? I'm fantastic. How are you? Excellent. I'm fine, thank you. Where are you uh, calling from? Oxfordshire, in England. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask you, in the 1990s, did you lend your voice to James and the Giant Peach? Yes, I did. <clears throat> you, I, uh, did. Had... I was doing, uh, I did, I did the singing part of the yeah. singing for uh the richard dreyfus character yes that's right yeah. and it was really what, what, interesting yes go on what made it interesting sorry well it was it was one of those um that i just happened to get somebody i was doing another session and the guy i was working with said this guy down the hallway he's looking for somebody who can do a, a richard dreyfus <laughs> and yeah. but he wants him to sing and i and i told him maybe you could do that and he said do you think you could do that and i said i think i could because richard dreyfus to me was sort of like a, a daffy duck but in real life to me <laughs> you know he seemed like the uh, personification almost of daffy duck but as, as a human you know for so many years and so yeah. i did that for the guy for the producer and he said oh that's that's perfect i'll um can you be at Capitol Records uh, on Wednesday uh, at like nine in the morning? I said, uh, I think so. <laughs> so <laughs> I show up and uh, I walk into Capitol Records and where all these people have played Frank Sinatra and Judy Garland and all these amazing singers. And yeah. it's just me in this huge room with like room for a 60 piece orchestra behind me. <laughs> and the director, uh, was he was patched in from San Francisco. Yeah. And then we worked on the different songs from James and the Giant Peach. No, and, was and it was a blast. Thing. It ah. was a it was a blast. It was uh, it was I don't remember every song. Yeah. But I, it was it was a lot of fun. Although wow. I was very nervous. I remember at the time yeah. thinking, wow, I hope I hope Richard Drivers doesn't find out that I'm doing the same <laughs> Because I thought he sounded great, but this guy was like a jazz musician. He was like, no, I needed a little, a little jazzier, a little bit different than what he did initially, you know? Uh, you know. Do, you, do, you know do you know if Richard ever found out what, how, what you were like? Uh, I, you know what? I'm sure he found out from somebody. It was like, he was probably <laughs> like, who, who is that singing? That is not my voice. I need to know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think you did well. And, oh, um, thank you. You're welcome. Um, did you ever read the book at all that the movie is based off? No, I, I never read the whole book. I, kn I knew the story, but I never read, I, I never actually read the whole book. Was that one of your favorites growing up? Well, I heard some of the story and sometime after hearing some of it, I did watch the movie and um, I only knew who a few of the cast members were at that point. I didn't know who Richard was. And um, yeah, that's yeah. It was in two thousand four, I think, that I first saw it, and uh, it was mm. worth it. Yeah, yeah, had a great cast. Oh, yeah. it was Richard, uh, was it Thule, David Thewlis? Yeah, um, Professor Lupin in the Harry Potter movies. Yeah, that's yeah. Who he was. Yep. Uh, did you did you meet any of the cast members? No, I I never I, I worked all on my own because uh, they had already done all of the the original filming. By yes. the time that I did, you know, my stuff was like all in post, all after. I see. So, yeah, yeah, that was a, I, I unfortunately, I would have loved to have met them because I love, um, I love British comedies. I love, you know, British stories. And <clears throat> you probably know I've, I've done some cleese through the years, you know, oh, yeah. oh, okay. doing right. different um, voices. Yeah. Did you ever see, uh, lord bravery on uh animaniacs or uh i'm afraid not no sorry yes lord bravery was one of those who was very much uh he was a superhero but he was a very proper superhero who talked like this all the time and had to pause for tea every once in a while go to the muffin shop and get his muffins before he he went on to do his superheroics and usually by then he was far too late 
I'm, t- <laughs> I'm telling you, that is impeccable. I love that. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I just, I, I grew up watching Monty Python, you yeah. know, being a huge fan of <clears throat> Monty Python and yeah. uh, Peter Sellers. Yeah. Listening to Peter Sellers' albums as he did, he did all the dialects. You know, he he went through the countryside, you know, and he was doing the different. He would do an Indian man, and then he would go on to Germany, and he would do that, you know, and then go on to Russia. And he had, he, it was just, it was this brilliant album of just going yeah. to different dialects, and and I enjoyed that. Yeah, I actually met Michael Palin from Monty Python many years oh, did ago, you? 2006. Oh, he is a lovely man. He's lovely. He sure seems like it. Yeah. Yeah, and he's right. He's unaffected by fame. No arrogance. Good guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for making the time for this. It's uh, been a pleasure. Uh, it's been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. No okay. problem, Jeff. <laughs> All right. No problem. All the best to you. Thank you very much. You too. Thank you. Thank you.